Their home is by the sea, living off its bounty, fresh food, clean air, together with the community. Is it just a matter of time? Why is there a need to convert bodies of water into land if it poses a threat to people's lives in the environment? Dump and fill projects set the stage for malls, condos, or other leisure establishments. These generate jobs and are a boon to the economy. But those living in coastal towns immediately see the downside of these developments. These projects destroy homes of birds, marine life, and plant life. This biodiversity is the lifeblood of many things. It is also the home of the coastal communities. Their livelihood puts food on their table and shelters them from calamity. Because of these reasons, scientists and environmentalists oppose dump and fill projects. They say it worsens crisis or calamities that may hit a locality. One is sinking land, also known as land subsidence, which is already occurring in Metro Manila every year. This makes residents more vulnerable to geohazards such as typhoons and storm surges. With the sea levels rising due to global warming, it also worsens the flooding problem, especially in communities near dump and fill sites. Currently, some areas in Metro Manila, like the cities of Malabon and Navotas, and the municipality of Obando and Bulacan, are experiencing this kind of flooding even without a typhoon. If strong ground shaking from an earthquake occurs, artificial land becomes susceptible to loosening. This is called liquefaction, which may lead to the collapse of infrastructures and in turn may bring injury and death. Nature gives life, but it can also take it away. This is the home of the fisherfolk and our home. Let us not forget that our lives and the environment are intertwined.